welcome to Zen Kitty Studio. This is Gizmo. He is my little buddy. He keeps me company. And this little darling is Bella. She's a Yorkie Poo. And Gizmo is a Mulchy. These two get to lay on the couch all day while I work on my art. And you can see from a shot of my studio, it's messy. But an art studio needs to be messy because you're working in it, right? You're getting your work done. So over here is the refrigerator. This is where I keep all my goodies. And here is my workspace. It's cluttered because I'm very busy. And as you can see, I'm always working on several things at once. I've got some sitting there drying, some sitting there where I'm just Letting them percolate. Because sometimes it takes a few months to get something worked out, or even as much as a year, for an art piece. Here's a new one that I just started tonight. Um, actually, that's not true. I started it last night. And this is the second layer that I'm putting on of on my canvas. Started out with just that um, pentacle pentagram. I tore out of a book, glued it down on the canvas piece, blank canvas, and then I just started adding all these layers of paint and scribbles. Here are a couple pieces that are almost done. That one's just about done. Got a couple of things that need to be added to it. And here's another one that is almost done, but I need to add a few elements before I can call it finished. This one is done, and it will be going up for sale soon on probably Etsy or eBay. Girls are more fun. These are collage images that I work on. I love to do mixed media collage. Sometimes I use my own photos, and sometimes I use clippings. This is finished. This is called Imported. It is for sale on Etsy right now. The Buddha is my own photograph, and the drawing of the lotus in the back is my own work, and then I added some of those, some of the lettering with paint. And here's a nice Dracula lady that I'm working on that I absolutely love the picture. It is a magazine clipping, of course, and it is just barely started. I have embellished the magazine clipping with paint to make her look pale, and added a more gothic dress to her to give, make her look pale. Oh, so here is where I work on mixed media collage. I use golden fluid acrylics. And I also do watercolor. And I like to oil paint. This oil painting has been a work in progress for a while now. It is actually taken from a photograph that I made of the pharmacy. Or no, excuse me, not the pharmacy, the hardware store here in town. Um, above the door, he has all these wonderful things. And right behind the moose's head is an exit sign, which I haven't painted in yet. But he has these a moose's head and some deer head and some fish. And I thought that was very unique for a hardware store. So, there's another finished work that is for sale on Etsy. It is Sonnet 116 of William Shakespeare, talking about love and romance. So here you go. There are, is Bella and Mo taking their naps, as they always do. And there's one end of my studio. That's my encaustic workshop. And I have a little coffee maker and some snacks over there. That angel, by the way, is not my work. I do photography and I like to do graphic, um, gothic photography. I take pictures of cemeteries, but this particular picture that's hanging up here, I bought myself. I bought at an art fair because I loved it. And there you can see my reflection. Ha ha, look at me. You can see my reflection in the glass. But that is by a wonderful young man who I loved his work at the art fair. So I bought it and it's hanging in my studio for 
inspiration. And I absolutely love Halloween. So you'll see a lot of Halloween stuff coming from Lily's art studio. There, that is one of my prints, one of my gothic prints of a cemetery. Um, sorry about the shaky camera, I'm trying to get in close. That's a cemetery in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And I went on Photoshop and did a little special stuff to make it dark and I added the moon with Photoshop and very proud of that. That right there is a print that I made when I was in college. It's a dragon moon, mono print. And you can see I've got a couple other pieces of my art up here. I have got, okay, this gothic window. That's something I took when I was in Chicago on an art tour. And it's actually University at Chicago. I love that photograph. It's one of my favorites. I use it in my collage art quite frequently. And those are just some drawings and sketches that I've done. I like to keep a few things up on the wall. This is a watercolor that I did. It's actually pen and ink and then I colored it in with watercolor. And it is a setting in one of the books that I've written. I write historical romance as well. And that's the set setting sun and a garden overlooking the ocean in the West Indies. And this is one of my favorites that I would never sell. And it is a postcard that was given to my mother from her father-in-law, my grandpa, and it says, I haven't seen a redhead anywhere up here. Having a wonderful time. Nice country. Da Love dad and mom. They were up in Canada and they hadn't seen a redhead. My mother was a redhead and I'm a redhead. So I made this using this postcard and a couple of images that I liked. So this is just a tour of my studio. And the big bay windows, which I absolutely love. It is beautiful in here during the daytime. Right now it's late at night. Oh, see my scullies? Now it's late at night. I'm usually up here late at night because I'm a night person. Oh, and here are my skulls. I love skulls in artwork. So there, I will just move that out of the way. This guy, this guy right here, he is like pewter. It's like metal. This one is plastic, which I just got for Halloween, like probably at Walmart. But yes, they keep me happy. They keep me company while I'm working in my studio. And in that little ice box is some goodies for me to keep me happy. And we will not talk about that tonight. I'll keep that for another day. So, let me know what you think. Any comments are welcome. And you can hit the subscribe button. And you can hit the like button. And here is another gothic image that I'm working on. I just started it. That's one of my photographs that I'm using to... We'll be adding some imagery to that and some text and different layers of paint. So that's just kind of starting out here. By the time they get finished, they have a lot going on, like this one. If you look at this one... This one has so many layers of paint and text and photographs and tissue paper and I've used stamps, ink stamps and doodles, so magazine clippings. And it's still not done, but it's probably got about 30 different layers going on. But it's still not finished, but it's getting close. So, you have a good night. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope that you guys have a good weekend.